Hello YouTube artists, I'm Kelly Hernig and welcome to my channel. Today we get to explore SE watercolors and I'm so excited to be bringing this set to you. Let's go paint. Today I'm going to be swatching the SE company Moons and Moods. <laughs> Such a hard one to say. Moons and Moods. <laughs> and here's what my template looks like. Again, I just trace leaves onto a manila scrap, manila folder scrap, and then I cut it out and then I place it down and just with the pencil I draw it out. That way I have a uniform template to follow. This one I have three this way and one down here. The one at the bottom is for the gold that is a little different. It comes in this little, look how cute, this little canister. And look at that gorgeous gold. I really love this palette of colors. It's just different, it's unexpected, and it just makes me happy. And I don't know why. <laughs> it's kind of a lot of violets and blues, which is strange for me. But let's get swatching so you can see this for yourself. The first color is called New Moon. I'm gonna do the bigger leaf in the fuller tone, and then the bottom leaf in a lighter value. SE is a handmade company. They do handmade uh, watercolors. They are on Etsy. Their binder is honey, but they also touch, put a touch of clove in there. So as you're painting, you smell the cloves. And my watercolor drawer now smells like cloves as well from having it housed in there. I add a little bit of water, so I'm just dipping my brush into water. I'm swatching in a Stillman Burn Beta Series sketchbook. It is mixed media paper, but I'm hoping it will give me a little bit of splashing and texture. The next color is Shadow Work. This is such a lovely green. It's just so rich and it's kind of got a bluish tint to it. I will list everything I'm using down below in the description box in case you want a link to Etsy and Essie. And the palette I'm using is by Arts to Ember. They are also on Etsy. I will have their link as, and down in the description as well. I love it because these are just half pans and it just fits so beautifully in there. And that's exactly what I was looking for. This one that I have has 36. I'm gonna rinse out my brush, do a lighter value. Then we've got Healing, which is a blue. It's such a beautiful blue. Reminds me of Lunar Blue and Daniel Smith. I think why I like this set so much is it's all muted colors but they go so beautifully together. If 
For this set, they worked with an artist to develop these colors. I think that's very cool. Dipping my brush in water. They have a couple purples in this set, which I absolutely love. This one is called Wild. So, so lovely. Add a little bit of water to my brush. The next color is my favorite in the set. It's called Intuitive. It is a taupe color, and I have never seen a watercolor this color before. It is amazing. It was a color that I used a lot in acrylics, so I think that's why I just love this because I know what it will do with other colors. I know how it will tone everything down, but give it a lovely value. Look at that color, amazing. Just water on my brush now. And then we have Lunar Eclipse, which is a black. Look how rich. Rinsing my brush. What would you paint with this palette? And wait till you see the gold. The gold is full moon. It wets so incredibly easily. Look at that. I am not much of a metallic person. But this would make such beautiful line work if you were trying to make something pretty. I could see this on dragonfly wings. It would look gorgeous. 
It'll look lovely in abstracts. A little water on my brush. The holidays coming up it would be great for Christmas cards. Look at those colors aren't they so beautiful? <laughs> like I said this has to be one of my favorite sets that I've got with them because I don't have colors like these. They're all like deep and they remind me of like going on a hike in the woods and everything that you see are like in shadow until the dappled light hits them. Then you get beautiful light shades like these. But I love the richness and the darkness. It's just so evocative to me. And I'm trying to figure out like, what would I paint with this? <laughs> you know, I see mushrooms and I see pine trees and I see, I don't know what to do with that blue. <laughs> Maybe a dark blue bird, a blue jay would look nice. You know, it's just, this is so moody. That's really the only thing that I can describe this palette as. And I just really like the addition of this gold. So I'm going to let these dry and then I will come back and show you how they're granulating and what the water is doing to them because it's doing amazing things. Before I bring you up close, I wanted to show you how easy it is for this gold to wet. And I'm going to do a couple lines with it. So I've just got a nice pointy brush here. I'm just going to get it a little damp on the surface. just goes on so smooth. So again, this is Moons and Moods by Etsy Company off of Etsy. This is New Moon, Shadow Work, Healing, Wild, Intuitive, Lunar Eclipse, and Full Moon. Look at the gorgeous colors and look how they're textured. You see the separation in shadow work? It's kind of a brown green. It looks beautiful. And the wild has a little bit of separation as well. But the intuitive has stolen my heart, let me tell you. And here's the gorgeous gold. It took the water. Look at the texture there. It took it beautifully. I want to play around with those colors and just kind of do a little bit of abstract. So I have just a little card that I've taped off and I'm going to just start playing. I'm using the back of a Canson XL watercolor pad. So I don't even know if it'll get any texture or what, but we'll try it. Just water on my brush. There we go. And a splash. When I'm doing something like this, I like to have hard and soft edges. That I consider soft. That edge right there I consider hard. I want to see how they mix with one another. If they mix with one another. There is no texture on this side. I can tell just by the way that it's not absorbing anything.
I'm starting to think that's not a good thing. <laughs> Kind of like that big void right there. Checking for edges right now, some I want to soften. I think I want to splatter with a little bit of gold. I'm going to dry this and then I'll be back. The yellow tape is yellow frog tape. The yellow is for delicate surfaces and I find it's a lot better than the green. There is also a scotch tape that is for delicate surfaces and I find that you just really don't have a lot of issues with that and I really like that. But when I'm, I am pulling, I always pull at a little bit of a diagonal and just take my time. There you go. I love the way that that looks. Do you see the little gold flecks? Let's see if I can bring them up. Don't they look like they're just little stars to put in there? I love that. So there's a little abstract with moons and moods. Hope you enjoyed that. If you were inspired by today's content, please like, subscribe, or comment. It will help my channel grow and I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching.